Hey, Fuzzy Goat family, Melissa here in Thomasville, Georgia, and happy Halloween. I had intended to maybe bring in a witch's hat, but didn't. I just didn't. So happy Halloween. I hope y'all are having a great day. We're finally getting some cooler temperatures here, and it's a sunny, it's a beautiful day. So um, I've been going back and forth with my husband because we really don't have a lot of trick-or-treaters in our neighborhood. A lot of people in our neighborhood are like empty nesters or whatever, um, but we do have this young family that has moved in and they have two little ones so um he bought candy and i kept saying you don't need to buy candy we don't trick-or-treaters but he did buy candy so we have two little trick-or-treaters coming by and so apparently they're gonna get a bag of candy each because i don't want it in the house and it's my favorite candy of course all right so um good weekend what else uh, yeah between last tuesday and this is how i i look at my knitting between last tuesday and today um, I had a couple nights where I played tennis, which is awesome, but I didn't get much knitting there. Sometimes at night, that's most of the time, that's when I get my knitting done. And then I also, on the weekends. So, but I do feel like I made some progress. So y'all are my, you are my judges to let me know, like, I got somewhere. So, I am wearing the Ranunculus, and you guys know that we've got some kits. Should, Madeline, would you mind showing, would you grab it? I should have grabbed a kit of those over here on the DK. Of the, of the Weekender and the Ranunculus. So we, we made kits of the Ranunculus and the DK and the denim wash, I believe, and then like a, thank you, ma'am, and the Weekender, if you mind. Is it right next to it? Um, so Ranunculus. I feel like I, I'd love for her to update her picture. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, so as you know, the Ranunculus, I've made several myself. You can use lace weight all the way up to worsted weight, and you don't need to change anything in her pattern. It'll just change the um, the denseness of the fabric. Does that make sense? Um, and I'm hoping you guys can hear me because I haven't seen any other comments. Oh, Kathy's making one for her daughter for Christmas. That is excellent. Like that's a, that's a good gift. Um, I, my, so I'm using my phone today, and it's a little smaller, so I can't quite read the comments. So I'll just look at them later. So anyway, the Ranunculus. We have put some kits together, and I think it goes up. Our kits go up to sizes uh, pretty high on the sizes. Um, but I just wanted to show you. We've got this denim wash, I think it's called. Medium wash. Really pretty. Because, you know, the Ranunculus doesn't take a lot of yardage. So we have one kit that has three skeins and another kit that has four. So that's the medium wash. Oh, here's one of the four skein ones. And uh, again, it's DK weight. This one is called Amethyst Mist. I love that color. And apparently my husband likes this color. He was in today. And he said, oh, I really like that color. But I didn't make it in that color. So anyway, so DK, um, I did my sleeves three quarter length. I did a Pico bind off. And I did do the short rows, although I'm not really sure I did them correctly. Um, so I, I think the longer, maybe it's supposed to go longer over here, but I'm not sure. But I did short rows in the sleeve, as I thought the pattern had said, but also made my length a little bit longer. So anyway, so I wanted to show you the Ranunculus kits that we have. They're online. And the other one, I'm going to talk about my Weekender Crew. This is the Weekender Crew pattern. And we do have some kits in that as well. We did two colors. We have other tweeds that came in. We have other... Knitwise DK that came in too if you want to put your own kit together, but this is We have three sizes in the weekender. This color is dungarees And then this is Knitwise's uh, Tea spill spill the, tea. spill the tea. Yeah, so kind of like in the picture That's what we're going with and like three sizes in these both colors. So check those out I don't know what we have in stock, but it's the weekender crew by Andrew Mary and I will show you my update you on my progress in my class. All right, let me see. Sorry. That was a really weird, strange noise. Okay, what else I want to talk about? Um, all right, I'm just going to start showing you my patterns. That needs to go with the ranunculus. Well, now let me show you this real quick. Um, we have um, somebody, Lois, was kind enough to share a pattern with us that she thought would look really good in the Maximo which is our bulky um, yarn from Pasquale, which I showed this weekend. I've showed it a couple times, but I'm also going to show you the Knitwise um, billowy bulky that she's got. This is the pattern right here. It's kind of like, what would you call that? 
Uh, oh, and it's look at the sides are really cute. It's kind of like it's kind of like the vest, but it's slit. You know, you can wear something under it. Um, again, it's very bulky. The long sleeve shirt, or maybe down here you want to wear something shorter, short sleeve. I just want to show you the difference. So it's got a little pattern. I just love that bottom part. That's really cool. Right here. Anyway, so the, the pattern is called Happy Harvest. So we have this link up with the Maximo yarn as well as the Knitwise Billowy. So if you go and search for, for Bulky, you'll see the Maximo there and click on that and you'll find the link to um, that pattern. I will put the link in my comments here too on this video. Okay. Um, I'm just trying to see. Oh, okay. What comments? Is there anything I need to? Okay. Well, hopefully not. All right. So I'm just going to show you some colors. I know you've seen them already. This pattern, oh, I didn't look. Uh, did I write it down? You probably, depending on the size and, and the ease you want, you'll probably need six or seven of these, I'm thinking, um, depending on your size. This is the silver. I, it's just so soft. This is curry, of course. Um, this is petrol. This one is agave. I like this blue one too. Um, it's not navy. What I, oh yeah, they're calling it navy. So you can just kind of see the twist in there, and then then the red. I think I've gotten all the colors. I might have missed one or two, so check it out. Um, of course, Bordeaux. Really pretty. Okay, and then let me show you real quick the uh, the knitwise because. Those are beautiful colors. She's got some really bright ones, of course. This is magenta, Bonnie Magenta, custom color for us. This is the LYS Day. This has a little more yardage. They have 109 yards in these. That one, I think, had 87. Um, LYS Day, super fun and bright. Poolside. Uh, this is, I'm not sure we have enough of this one. This is Kitty. I'm, I'm not sure how many of these we have. I tried to pull the ones that we had several of. Charcoal. And this one's pretty too. Pomegranate punch. And then the last one here is Riot Kitty. So just some, uh, some options there and some ideas. And we just want to show you the new stuff coming in. All right, put those away. And now I'm going to talk about a pattern all right so we're getting colder weather which i'm excited about because i might wear my peach fuzz tomorrow again because it's going to be chilly right madeline chilly tomorrow so i can't wait all right so let's let's start talking here um this is my sister's i'm I, i'm squirreling and i'm i need to squirrel some more so this is my sister's uh look squirrel dk yarn i'm using um Oh, Sweet Georgia. Sorry, I had to think about that. I've gotten a little bit further. I believe I even switched a ball of yarn since last week. Possibly. Mm, yeah, I think I have. Um, so I have probably another half an inch, inch, I probably will do um, to get beyond the, the armhole. Let me just show you what I'm talking about. So yeah, it's going to be something like that. So I'm thinking I'm going to go a little bit deeper because I, I just want to make sure she's going to have enough room. And then I will separate for the sleeves, and then I'll do the body. And yeah, we'll be squirreling along. I love it. I love this color. And I will do something spray block so that lace will pop out a little bit more. And I do really love wearing my look squirrel. For those of you that have made it or are thinking of it, it's really fun to wear. Just to kind of grab and go. If you could just see all this stuff around my feet, it's really funny. Madeline was asking me, really and truly, like, how many projects do you have going? I said, probably too many. So I have made myself pump the brakes on casting anything new on until I get a couple more off the needles, which I'm pretty close on. So this one here is um, Painted Plains. I am doing the Mermaid Tail colorway. So I really am getting close. I think once I finish this section up here, and I think I'll do, I think I have one more section of this, and then I have to do, oh no, I have a whole nother section, a whole nother repeat, because it's, I think I'm in the fifth section. I have to do six, and then, then I'll do 
the bottom. So I'm really almost there. So I might kind of focus on this to get this off the needle. I love it. It's super soft and silky. It's interesting enough. Like, you know, the 10 rows going back and forth don't take much time. And then you've got this interesting little um, cable going on. And then you switch color. So, you know, it's interesting. It's interesting enough. You know, watching good TV. Yeah. So, all right. That is called. We have more of those coming. I think we have one more of On the Rocks colorway. This is the Little Mermaid, and we have more coming. So stay tuned. You can text us if you think you want us to make, you know, make a note to let you know when it's here. Just text us and let us know that. All right, what's this one? Oh, this is my Weekender. Okay, the Let's Talk Weekender. Weekender Crew. I am doing DK. I'm just trying to, got a lot of needles going on here. Let me see if I can show you what I've done. This is how I, it'll be worn, all right? This side facing out. And you can see I've got something going on there. I'm going to have to fix that one. I'm not really sure what happened. That's why I switch balls. Something weird happened. We'll fix that because, of course, this is the front. <clears throat> so I have finished. So I've separated for the sleeve right here. I did five inches. I didn't do any more because I did add length in my body. So this is the... And it's going to be lower, so it's not at the shoulder. It's a drop sleeve, if you remember. I can show you the drop sleeve. So it's about right here, right? So um, that's fine. Where am I? <laughs> okay, yeah, here's the sleeve. Okay, so I think last week I talked about the short rows and how I didn't think I was going to do them because the front of the ranunculus has some short rows, and sometimes I feel like this it comes up too high because it's just right here. Um, so I was thinking that this pattern had the same short rows, but it doesn't. The short rows are here. So I did do the short rows because I do want my shoulder to be shaped and whatnot. So um, <laughs> this is really funny. So I have the left shoulder on hold. That's why there's all these needles. So they're live stitches. And I'm just finishing up the right shoulder. And what else do I have to do? I have to do a few more. If you can see, I'm doing the ribbing here. You can see you can definitely see the shaping and some short rows, right? Because it's it's kind of at a slant. Does that make sense? Yeah. I mean, I don't know if you can tell or not, but there's some short rows. But I did sh German short rows, and you can do that even though she says wrap and turn. You just need to add when it says knit to five stitches before they want you to do the double stitch, or to the end, or you know to the next double stitch, or the wrap and turn. You'll do you go four because you end up using that fifth stitch in the, in the German short rows. I don't know if that confuses you or helps you, but just know that you can do that. If you have questions, you can let us know. You can also Google, how do I switch between the two? I just prefer the German short row. So that's where I'm at. Um, like I said, just about, I couldn't have the bandwidth last night to finish this. I think I have like six more, maybe eight more rows, something like that. And I just didn't do that. And then I'll do this side the left shoulder of the front and then I'll pick up the stitches for the back that are on hold and I'm at that five inches went super fast compared to the 15 that I did from the bottom to the point in which I separated uh, that I, you know it was twice as big right because you're going all the way around but it was fine it was great TV watching yeah so that's where I am with my weekender I don't think there's anything else I want to tell you about that I'm just looking at my note here. Sorry. Yeah, so that's it. That Weekender crew. There we go. All right. I do need to get another ball in there. I, I, I finally, all this time, I have always put all my balls in the project bag. Why am I doing that? Especially when I have to carry all these bags in. So I'm like, why don't I just put the one that I need? So I'm doing that now. Okay. I, okay. I did pick up. So my son's been, we've been in some doctor's appointments with him, so I've been bringing my knitting. And of course, I really do feel like, oh, there's two in here on this back. I do feel like if you bring your knitting to a doctor's appointment, they call you in immediately. But if I didn't have my knitting, I'd be sitting there and mad. So I do bring it, even if I don't even get to knit much. But I did bring this to one of the appointments today. This is the drawing sweater. Let me make sure I've got it facing the right way. Nope, I don't. I should have done that. So this is this is the front. I am working on the body. And I probably need to measure and try it on. I probably have, I think they want me to go six inches and then we're going to do the ribbing. 
I need to try that on uh, before, yeah, I need to measure and try it on before I go back to the sleeves, which is going to be, I, I'm just going to need to spend some more time with the pattern to make sure I know where I'm going. I basically need to finish those flowers is I think what's happening on the sleeve. You can see that I'm near the end of that flower. So I think that's all I've got, but I got to do two of them. So, and carry yarn, which is going to be challenging. Okay, so that is the drawing sweater, DK. And then I worked on this one at another appointment. Let's see. Yes. So this is the um, Pothos pullover. And was this the one? Yeah, this is the one where um, it's fingering. I'm using Ryan yarn. I am trying because, you know, I was a little upset with my tension up here in the, near the end of the color work because it was tighter in the beginning. So this is just a note to myself whether i need to go down a needle size i may not need to i just might need to be more cognizant of my tension is what i'm thinking because it's it just seems to have gotten worse near near the bottom like right where i was near the end can you see just so anyway it's fine so i'm trying not to be as tight in my tension in the body so it doesn't look so drastically different so if you're doing the crop top which this mom will not be doing they want you to go like six and a half inches and otherwise, for the longer version, it wants you to go, I think, 14 and a half inches. So I'm somewhere between there. I don't want to do six, and I don't want to do 14. So I have some ways to go. But I am enjoying this yarn a lot. Hello, Mr. Fuzzy Goat. He's trying to slither in. I saw that. Okay, so those, and I have put these, I was smart. I was like, I don't want to carry two project bags. So I put them in my man, manger, manger, man, what, manger, manger. What do we call this bag? man magna gosh i don't know why i couldn't oh. my magna bag which was super and they both fit in there and i had my little it was great it was like a first my son wasn't too embarrassed when i pulled it out you know to knit he's like do you can you not go a second without knitting i said no i cannot go a second without knitting period that's what i told him all right what's this one? Oh, okay so this is the um which, oh wallaby wallaby sorry the wallaby for kids i think it is um this is earth yarn what was i gonna say? yeah this is earth um self-striping yarn so i finished two sleeves and i've i've not experienced i have not experienced any experience what am i trying to say with the self-striping so it was it was interesting to me to try to figure out to get the stripes pretty close i mean right they're pretty close nobody's going to measure that up too closely and even at the top so um, and now I'm going to start to cast on for the body, which I think I'm going to use one of these balls so that I don't, the body doesn't stripe like this. Of course, it'll stripe differently because it's wider, so my stripes will be thinner. So, but I want more color. So I'm going to start with one of these balls so that it starts changing more frequently. So it's a cute pullover, kind of like a sweatshirt for my great nephew. It has a little papooch. What do you call it, papooch? thingy for your hands <laughs> if you can see that let's look a place well but it has it goes all the way through you know <laughs> so to put your hands for the little guy and it's got a hood which i have done that before but it'll be interesting so stay tuned this is supposed to be for christmas so and you will find the link um to the pattern on the product page so it's the earth uh self-striping worsted but i'll also put the link on the comments so if you go there almost there guys almost there I don't forget to talk about that so this is my Westbourne and you know Cadence just recently finished hers and it's been you know I've been wanting to get mine there as well so this is where I got I actually cast bound off I bound off so I, mine's not going to be quite as long as hers um, and it does roll like hers did so it's a little bit longer than it, it appears, but it does. It comes down to just right at my hips. I realized that I missed one of the shorts. Can you tell how that's going to, I don't know if you can tell or not. It does, because the short rows hit the bottom, it kind of does a little scoopy thingy. I missed one of them because I was thinking I could track it by my double stitches, you know, how many times I've passed through. And in the end, I realized I needed to have eight of them, and I stopped at seven. Um, so, oh, Marcia says, uh, yes, the wallaby is going to be cute. I think it's gonna be really cute. And it might be a little big for him right now, but that's fine. 
So anyway, so I finished the body. Now I just got to do the arms and I'm going to do three quarter length. Uh, I think just as information, I think Cadence might have had 10 of her stripes, you know, stripes. I've got eight just to give you an idea. Of course, it all depends on your gauge. And I tried it on. I'm happy with that. So I just got to get this bottom to sit down a little bit. And I'll probably, my, my thought is I'm going to spray it. Maybe try steaming first. Spray just the bottom. Unless I have somewhere else. Maybe even, maybe the, the neckline. I don't know. And maybe put some, like a, a towel with a shoe on it or something. Just give it some weight so it kind of settles down a little bit. That's my plan. So stay tuned with that. So just the sleeves. And they're not even going to be long sleeves. So that's kind of exciting. And I, like I said, I'm, I'm close on a couple things. And then I'm going to allow myself to, I don't know, because I got more than just a couple things I want to cast on. But anyway, and then the, la the last project, and then I'm going to talk about my some gauge swatching. So this is um, my sister's, what is it called? Little Silver Shrug. I think that's what we're calling it. And I'm using Fino, um, which is 30% uh, silk, which is super soft. It's going to have a nice drape. It's going to, I'm really making a rectangle and I'm going to show you on the side here. Sorry, I keep flipping it around. Um, I think at least 18. So 10. Wow, I'm almost halfway. I'm not sure. I think I might be more than 18 just looking at that if that's halfway. Because I'd like, I guess it depends on how long you want it to come down on your arm. I think I'd like hers to at least come to like elbow. That's what I'm thinking. Not long because I'm not the seam up the whole thing. But that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. So this is kind of fun. I, I wish if I had kind of studied the pattern before I started going, I might have put more stitches between here just to make it a little longer. But I do think when I block it, which I probably will, I see it'll stretch without really stretching it. So. Oh, you like my Halloween, my ranunculus Halloween. Yes, this is my I had I had two choices to wear today, which is really funny because I could have worn my Pop Rocks, right? Because it's kind of orangey right? It's kind of fun having two options there. Okay, so now I want to talk about what I'd like to cast on next, and I told, I think I showed you guys. Ooh, do I have it with me? It's going to be, um, and I actually already took out my gauge swatch. I'm going to hold these together, and I'm going to be doing the Helga uh, cardigan. Let me show you. Oh, and the, it is got a little cable I love a cable on a cardigan. Who doesn't love a cable? I'm just going to show you again here. I think I got it. I'll pull this one out too. Oh, here it is. It's um, Isair, I-S-A-G-E-R, is the yarn. It's the company. And Helga is actually an Isair. So this is the, the cardigan I'm planning to make. And I, I'm thinking I could even wear it not. I mean, buttoned with, like, not as a cardigan, but, like, as a pullover. I think it's super cute. You can see it's got that little cable right there where the buttons are. I'm going to give me some really cute buttons, I hope. And the cable doesn't even require a cable needle. So that, I really like that. Not that I mind using a cable needle. Um, so I did do my gauge swatch. I have to, maybe I talked about this. I'm probably going down a couple needle sizes um, to, get, to get gauge because I want it to fit just right. So that's that one but I think I already showed you the gauge swatch so but I what I did want to talk about was this um valentine I cadence wore this on Saturday and I'm doing it in mystico and I that's the gauge swatch I want to talk to you about too so this one I did do in the round right because the project is in the round I probably need to give myself a few more rows but what I did in the the first one I did was in the suggested needle size, which was a seven. Oh, my dad's going to love this. I'm talking for 30 minutes here. Um, on a seven, and I was, I think, short. My stitches were too big. I think I was short, like, significantly, not just a stitch or half a stitch. I had, like, three stitches. So I said, you know, that's enough that I'm going to go ahead and drop down to a five, five, seven to a five. And I actually got gauge, um, and I'm happy with the fabric. I don't want it to be too big and swimming. It's going to be um, lofty enough. So um, I probably will do just a little bit more and check it again. But I think I'm going to do a five. So I just want to talk about gauge swatching that. And it's in the round. So because the sweater's going to be in the round. So uh, there we go. All right. I think that's all I have for you guys. Um, got a needle going through a bag here. That's not good. 
Um, yeah, so if you um, have any questions, please check out our website. And like I said, I'll put the links of all this, the yarn, so that you can um, just click on it and get to the pattern. Um, but text us, e email us, or call us if we can help you with anything. FuzzyGoatYarns.com. I hope you guys have a safe and happy Halloween, and I look forward to catching up with you next week. All right. Oh, one update. So, yeah, so this weekend, it's interesting. I'm supposed to be going to a tennis tournament, so I don't know how much knitting. Although I am riding, so I'm, I will get some knitting done in the car. That's what I'm thinking.